Look at it here. Now Joram. Second Kings chapter number. Second Kings chapter number three. Now Joram, the son of Ab, began to reign over Israel in Samaria. The 18th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, and reigned 12 years. Go on. And he wrought evil in the sight of the Lord, but not like his father and like his mother. For he put far the well image of Baal that his father has made. Nevertheless, he cleaved unto the sin of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin and departed not from, not therefore. Keep on. And Mesa, king of Moab, was a sheep man. Let's start from verse 13. Please jump on to verse 13 so that I can go to where I want to go. And Eliza said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with you? Get thee to the prophet of thy father and to the prophet of thy mother. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hands of Moab. Go on. And Eliza said, As the Lord of hosts live before whom I stand, surely, were it not for that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I will not look towards thee, nor see thee. Go on. But now bring me a mystery. And it came to pass when the mystery played, that the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, Thus said the Lord. Listen to this. Because this is the message that God has casually asked. This is the cry that the Lord asked me to give to this church. He gave me this cry many years ago. I did not make full use of it. I made a little bit of use. And they asked me to re-emphasize it today. Because after preparing my message, I asked him, what do you want me to tell the people? And he said, go there and tell them. Now listen. And he said, thus said the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. Dig all. That is dig all. For thus said the Lord, yes, I not see the wind. Yes, I not see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with water. That ye may drink both you and your cattle and your beast. Go on. And this is but a lightning in the sight of the Lord. It will deliver the Moabite into thy hands. Go on. And yes, I smite every fortified city and every choice city and fell every good tree and stop all the wells of the water and mar every good piece of land with stones. Go on. And it came to pass in the morning when the meat offering was offered that behold, there came water by the way of Edom. And the country was filled with water. Water will come. Say amen. I didn't hear amen from everybody. Water will come. Say amen. Water will come. God told me this in the 90s. I think it was around 1993. That this revelation came to me. And I even used it to preach, to teach in a particular Bible school. Make ditches in this valley. Now this is it. Jehoram and Jehoshaphat were to fight the king of Moab and they have gotten to a place where they have to build their garrison. No, don't disturb nobody. Don't disturb nobody. And there was no water. And if you've been in that part of the world, you know that water is so essential in that part of the world. I was telling my daughter the other day, he said, you know that when Jesus was fasting, uh, it was hot, it was not cold that people have, oh he was talking she was talking to me about a case study in the law where some people have to eat three people were in a hole and they were there for about 27 days or so yeah and two of them had to kill one to eat him because they were locked in there and then when they came out they have to present the case of murder to them, now why did they eat but if they didn't eat they would love that I said ah, I told her I said, she was asking me what do I think and you know it's bible I think I said they should have fasted. They would not have, nobody would have died. He said, but for 27 days. I said, yes. I said, Jesus did 40 days. She now said, but where Jesus was, was hot. Where the one was freezing cold. I said, where Jesus was, was not hot. Where Jesus was, was fire. I've been there. The mountain of temptation, me and my wife and these children went there. My brother and sister. Only Jesus could be, only Jesus could do temptation in that mountain. That mountain, that mountain, the heat there, as a man, is the hottest part of the heart in Jericho. It's the hottest part of the heart, and it's the lowest part of the heart. I took picture there, lowest part of the heart. The heat is so much that to visit that mountain, they have to carry you in cabin car, those cabin car on top of cables. Well, a sea. Now, anywhere you enter around that Jericho, which is controlled by Palestine, all right. You have to be inside AC. Inside AC, they see now a big fan. 
that will be fanning you. Any little exposure to heat like this, you are burning. I told Jesus there, I said, I dropped my heart because the first day of my temptation here, I'll just tell everybody, God said he has heart. He has answered. <laughs> they were not hot. And I told my daughter, I said, it's like pouring hot water on you to burn your body. That is how all that region is. All my boys here, you know they like to work, they like to be like individual working. When you are in this place, everybody is running around. When we were there, every moment they are linking on to the mother, carry me, carry me. <laughs> now they say, work, work, say, you have leg. No, it's carry me. <laughs> it's so hot. And they were in that region. How could you fight? You remember when Samson said, oh Lord, give me victory here because you have delivered such a great victory to me, but I'm dying of trust here. Before God brought water from the from the job home of the house, which they call Elia Kori. Test could act, you I know you don't know the meaning here because it's always cold. Test could actually kill somebody over there. So they didn't have water. When they are famished, how would you wrong? How will you do things? And when they spoke to the prophet, and if there was going to be a rain, it's going to be windy, it's going to be cloudy. I study rainfall. As a, as a son of a farmer and we were always drying farm produces like cocoa outside when I check the face of the sky I can tell you whether it was going to rain or not and when, it, when the rain is coming miles away we start removing everything we were drying because I know it's coming if I tell you rain is coming, it's coming it's just in the last few years that I don't look at the sky anymore I can tell you, even in this country when I got to this country I would just look at it and say ah, rain is coming from that side I'll tell people. I can start. I studied the rain. Most of the people you think are illiterate. No, it's in your language that they are illiterate. They are very literate. Most of those farmers. My mother has been making money since 1901. <laughs> very literate in money making. But the, that literacy is very important. More than the literacy of grammar. Even to today, she's still making money through all of us. She so will tell me all the money you have sent at finish. So I say, how? How? As you'll be fighting everybody to retain the money. <laughs> are, are, you, are you listening to what I'm saying? Now? And the prophet now said, you will not see wind, you will not see rain, but the valley will be filled with water. And this is what you need to do. This is what God spoke to me. Say, how many ditches you dig determines how great you become. Because when the water passes through, the water is going, it's flowing. It's not going to stop where you are. It's just flowing. It's coming from, from Moab and it's going somewhere. If you have ditches, if you have dug wells, as the water is coming, it will fill them. And then they are yours. Just imagine that the valley where they were, they made the valley full of ditches as God said. It's the same the same, what do we call it? The same uh, prophecy that this man of God that I'm talking to you gave to the woman in chapter 4 who said that their husband died and the two children have been given to the creditors. And the man of God said, go and borrow vessels, not a few. And keep pouring. And the woman borrowed. The woman who could have become the richest person in the whole region. Just borrow some few. And after some time, the oil stopped because there was no vessel anymore. Don't stop yourself. Don't stop the move of God. Water is coming, I am telling you, by the way of Edom. Water is coming, even from the most, uh, what do we call it, uh, hostile regions. Water is coming. When you do not think, when you do not know, water is coming. I remember in those days they used to tell us, they say God said he wants to use Nigeria. Everybody begin to prepare yourself. God wants to use Nigeria. People like Pastor Deboy, people like Bishop Yodepo, people like Bishop Waleoke, they kept telling us. Hosein bought a book which came today along with God. Not many books compare to that book on earth written by Bishop Varus Waleoke. It is a singular spirit of God that made Bishop Waleoke that he wrote about in that book. It's the greatest of all the books of Bishop Waleoke along with God. That was what he was doing that time. Pray, preparing themselves. All of them will prepare themselves that time. The move of God is mighty over them. Not just move, moves of healing, deliverance. They have schools. They have jets. They have different kind of things. 
There's a season upon us, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reason why we come here. 6 a.m. Young people come here 6 a.m. Guys, you're not hearing me. Only in the day of God's power, people are willing. 12 a.m. midnight, we are praying on Zoom. 5.30 people have awoken and they are dressing up. By 6 a.m. we are here. We finish prayer sometimes 6 a.m. People are still drenched in the spirit to continue. In Europe, where nothing is chasing you. And where bed is the sweetest place. And the greatest companion is phone. And the internet is ceaseless. There is nobody who doesn't have internet. It never finished. Somebody said my data finished. Immediately just buy another one. You know, there's a button to press. That I just enter. <laughs> it's in a system, exhaustible. And people are coming here. Wednesday night, people are coming here from before we come here. Even people who have children have come here with their children in the middle of the night. Young people, not old people, because old people have a lot of problems. Because they misuse their old young age. Hey, my brother, you need fighter foam. <laughs> Hello, sir. Fighter foam is one of the greatest mattresses. Mattress company in Nigeria. They call them fighter foam. The foam, if you sleep on it, you see heaven. We can bring. <laughs> and you listen to what I'm saying. And they are here. People, people don't even wait for Pastor David or anybody. Everybody's already praying. The, the prayers, there is no prayer point led. We don't leave prayer point in the morning here. You see anybody leading you in prayer point? When you come, where do you go? Here, yeah, we meet him. We meet her here sometimes. See, we'll be here throughout those two hours, digging things out on our own. From there, people go to work. From there, people go to school. And nobody's complaining. It's a season. And you, you stay in the house, you, you sleep, you watch throughout the night, you are laughing, only you, you are watching Chucky Chan. Push up, chill, press Chucky Chan. After some time, he said, Pastor, he said, Yes. The only one pastor now comes, want to be studying his Bible in the morning. He said, Pastor, can I have two minutes? He said, Yes. He said, Yes. I didn't know why. In my dream, I don't know the kind of meat, maybe red meat or blue meat. They put in my mouth, and it's like, as you get toothpick now to be picking my teeth. <laughs> How does it come? If you sleep too much, there is nothing you will not see. But people are cutting their sleep. People are, people are scr scratching into the high heavens. Scratching the very face of God so that they can bleed. So that the blood can drop on them. So that things can happen. People are digging ditches. So that when the water flows, they have several wells to contain the water, which becomes their own possession. So the message to you here, dig ditches in this valley. It looks like a valley. Churches are going to be getting filled up. God is going to be sending people. God is going to be setting up people. God is going to be using people. God is going to make up his jewels. Malachi chapter number 3. And I try to round off with that. This is not the time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to help me stop that thing. It's becoming too much. This is not the time to say, hey, Pastor, I'm just struggling with masturbation. Everybody has left you behind in that nonsense devil. We want to hear you are struggling with two hours and three hours. That Pastor, I'm trying to break into five hours of prayer, but I see that I'm struggling with two and three hours. That is the only struggle that is tenable right now. Not say, I don't just know, I don't know what I watch. It's your own personal palaver. It's your own cup of tea. You can drink it hot or cold. You can put sugar. <laughs> just sit down with it. You already have your destiny. That's your own inheritance. You already have your own inheritance. Something happened to me when I came to this country. I just woke up. Somebody, when I came to this country, one of my friends who asked me to come just came and said, uh, Take somebody's paper to work. It looks like joke. It has never happened to me. Even in England, they gave me that kind of a thing. I rejected. But here, 
I have come. He has told me that he has filed paper for me for the government and government has released it as we come. That's the reason why I came. Because I was in many troubles. And I came. He didn't file anything. He now says to take somebody's paper. And the, the person was working as kitchen potter. After I walk in for about one or two weeks, do you know what it came to tell me? He said, that's your own person in Christ. God used him to say it. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? God knew that I would hear. He just fell out of his lips. He said, that's your own person. <laughs> to be a kitchen potter. <laughs> As if that was not enough, the person who had the paper, are you listening to me? The person who had the paper, I was calling him one day and the wife picked and the wife thought that he had actually she has actually disconnected the phone and the wife was a Muslim he said these pastors it is in their hand you will find legs of another person faces of other people paper that is not their own they will be using it I didn't tell anybody the woman did not know I listened to him after the woman has even left the phone I was still there. <laughs> First thing is that the man said, this is your own person. The next thing is that the Muslim was berating the almighty God on my behalf. I just went to where we were working and said, I am David. This is not. No. I went to the government. Do you have asylum? Let us do it right. I said, I'm here. Yeah. My life changed from that point. I began, from that point I stopped. I began to pray, began to fight. That was when I now wrote, I am pregnant. That's when I wrote that article, I am pregnant. The powerhouse started as soon as I turned. Many people that we came together are stuck to that same thing. So many of them have not been rect able to rectify themselves in 20 years of being here. They are still using another person's hand and leg. And say one day God is going to change something. It doesn't change what will not change. So if masturbation is your whole now or lies or pornography, it's your own person. That's, that's what you have signed up for. Thank you. That is your line. Maybe you should become a playboy. Because he makes money. I'm half a man, son. Like I was telling Nebini, I said, your mouth is your mouth. How can you say, I don't know why my mouth opens. I said, what's the meaning of that? I said, your mouth is your mouth. You have power over your mouth. Don't say my mouth just open. And I said, what, what, what made your mouth do that? I said, somebody else operating it. It is when they began to deal with me at young age that I knew that my mouth was my own. From Africa. Every time. Ready? So even when I'm sleeping, so they now take stick of mat, put fire. And put it in my mouth. And when the fire burns to the lips, that's why you can't find me when I'm sleeping. Even like from my sleep, I am conscious them. <laughs> Um, by the time you wake up, yay, yeah, everybody has run and everybody is laughing. So you don't know who. And they will never tell you who put the fire. Because all of them came together and say, Let put fire. Let put fire. Let put fire in his mouth. Now somebody will not say, I don't I didn't know why I watch what I watch. You yeah, that's what you like to do. People are using their own time in prayers. People are using their time in fasting. People are using their time in studying of the word of God. People are using their time in finding out what God, what does God want me to do so that I can properly align. He said, Pastor, I don't just know when I come to the church, everybody that I see all the guests, I don't know why my eyes are going everywhere. That's your own person. You are into ministry of lucre. So, build an anointing around lucre. <laughs> you can be doing bakery of lucre. It's your own personal person. But people are installing values and virtues into their life. So much so that when it is even time for them to be married, people look at them like this and they say, I bless God that I have connection with you. Not that they are, everybody is now using them to beg people. Marry him, he will be good for you. Marry him, sorry, he will be good for you. You can just be looking at human beings like that. After some time, they change. <laughs> Don't you see that? You are, you are a valueless market product. Have you seen anybody buying Rolex? 
This is the way they do to have Rolex inside the cave. This was 230,000. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, they, they put one watch there say one euro fifty say it's not gonna last <laughs> you can put so much fallow into your life that at whatever age god is bringing any man to you or god is bringing a woman to you the woman is saying god thank you for making me wait to be able to meet with this kind of a person not that they are using you to vex somebody you can be valuable say amen so valuable you can be so valuable you can be so valuable so valuable and I beg you God, God bring me a woman or God bring me a man no it's men that will be looking for you and women that will be looking for you when values have really been added to your life gold the reason why European countries cannot leave Africa they can never leave Petroleum, gas, Ghana gold, diamond in Syria alone, uh, gold also in uh, Congo. You think the war can finish? No. It can never finish. Why is there war in Ukraine also? Why, why, why can't uh, Vladimir Putin go and, take, go and extend Russia to Africa? <laughs> extend it to just Sudan. <laughs> Some part of Sudan with Morocco and a little bit of Ethiopia, the tri parts. Say, give me. We are ready. <laughs> and some part of Kenya where there is drought and the animals are dying. He's not looking for it. Why is he looking for Ukraine? The food basket of Europe. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Fallu attract on his own without anybody helping it to beg. Fallu attracts so it attracts God, it attracts man. Fallulessness begs, it begs God, it begs man, it's begging everybody, everywhere. It's just begging, please. I'll, I'll function very well, I'll be okay. He will enjoy me <laughs> by the time a guy is submitting CV for him and say, You don't know me, you don't, you don't know what you will get in me, you don't know what you will find, you don't know what you are missing if you lose me. <laughs> you know, or a guy is saying that say you just have to open your eyes and look at me where before I go because I, I'm going off the market you know don't don't blame me if you don't get me <laughs> something is something is wrong because people can weigh things of value by their spirit they can weigh things of value by their spirit and you can be the woman's the wound Lucy Ruth or what the name the woman's funeral was attended by 60,000 people they said the woman was a blessing to everybody of color did they say they were racist towards her no because somebody has cancer you see is the person still a racist no that is a way sickness changes everything you think I've been part of an HIV family so I know the meaning as a matter of fact at that time Evil spirit, if you can cast out that HIV that time, you say, quickly cast it out. I'll continue my I'll continue my Christian race somewhere. <laughs> anything anybody can use. Anything anybody can use. This is a clarion call. God wants me to talk to you today. This is a clarion call from above. It's a ceasing to latch on, on God. It's a ceasing to build ditches. Don't be fighting on ephemeral things. Don't be fighting on transient things. Build altars. God wants to move. If you have great altars, God will give you palaces. Did you hear what I said? If you have great altars, God will give you palaces. He will give you palaces. There are things he wants to do. There are things God wants to do. And what he wants to do is not just preaching and teaching. He's making people in reality kings. And making people in reality priests, people who will deliver territories, 
through the act of God by what God will want them to do Joseph was not a preacher but invariably by his lifestyle he preached to nations Daniel was not a preacher was an administrator but invariably by the life he lived he preached to nations he converted nations Abraham was not a preacher he was a businessman by the covenant of God nations are blessed through him but it was his business that is faced most of these our patriarchs were not preaching machines not all of them were Paul when the move of God comes over your life the purposes of God are activated you are not taught God's purpose it's already installed it just get activated it's already in you so many of you will become might I've, I've, I've attended the meeting before it was a pastor's conference and they brought a Christian lawyer he was a very rich Christian lawyer an American Christian lawyer he preaches but the way he's even preaching you know that he's not a preacher he would just laugh he said oh, 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 oh. he said oh, 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 oh. the power God has given to me is the power of legal prowess and I've used this thing as a Christian to deliver many people and I'm rich ah! he would just laugh ah! and I'm very rich ah! he was very happy he said somebody killed somebody in Africa and the person eventually was brought back to life but as at that time they have cut his neck they have cut some part of his hand I was aroused by the spirit of God I went to Africa and I delivered judgment I delivered that person into, into jail and in jail he said in jail and I went to go and preach to him I am the lawyer who came from America and delivered you to jail will you receive Jesus? I said he received Jesus ah! he said I'm very powerful <laughs> through law I'm very powerful <laughs> he said I used my money to prosecute it I was ready to take on the Kenya, Kenya nation if they would not allow me to prosecute that man. I was ready to take, so they just allowed. He said the man now became Christian inside jail, began to preach to others. They saw him, they saw his face. Some of you will become scientists of renown, but you, it was, everything will start from the perspective of eternity. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things will be added. In the place where you are praying, in the place where you are studying the word of God, in the place where you are linking up to God and say, God, what do you want to do? I am just here as a vessel. You died for you. And God takes on you. Some of you will be big nurses. Some of you will be big doctors. And inside your hospital, private hospital, even in this country, you have a little fellowship there. When you say you want total healing after we have care for you we are doing fellowship here they just say that they are doctor a very reputable uh, cardiologist he just said lord jesus i love you with his glasses he said ah. he said doctor do you believe in all this he said ah, that is where i get all the power he said can i join he said immediately <laughs> some of you walk in places where they put buddha but the owners of work put buddha there. can you run and every money maybe he come to put cola lot there or, or give his Buddha some drink. <laughs> but you're worried. Sometimes we just say, Can you help me clean the around the altar of the shrine? <laughs> and you walk there. <laughs> what will you say? He's the owner of the other, otherwise then, no, I don't touch Buddha. And the following day just say sack him. <laughs> A season is upon us. I want us to really pray. Whatever is dragging you backward must be broke a season is upon us that we must dig ditches in this valley a season is upon a season is upon us where you must stand on the neck of god